Every year, millions of leftover prescription drugs end up in the wrong hands. It's a problem that may not only be dangerous, but potentially deadly. And that's why local communities are participating in National Drug Take Back Day tomorrow. Iowa News reporter Julianne Lima has the details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Even though drug disposal bins like this one at the Providence Public Safety Complex are available all year round, Drug Take Back Day serves as a great reminder for all of us to clean out our medicine cabinets and safely dispose of our drugs. Take a look inside this drug disposal bin. After just two weeks, it's already filled with prescription medicines, painkillers, over-the-counter meds, and more. It's a simple but very effective way to get opioids, and uh, drugs off of the streets. For the past six years, Providence has participated in the biannual National Prescription Drug Take Back Days. It's one of 33 communities across Rhode Island to participate, setting up stations to collect unwanted, expired, and leftover drugs. Please do not flush them down the toilet or simply throw them in the trash, as this could present a potential safety and environmental hazard. The Drug Enforcement Administration reports more than 6 million Americans misused prescription drugs in recent years. And in most cases, those drugs were taken right from the medicine cabinets of friends and family. Our focus on saving lives is still our focus. We need treatment and we need rescue. But if we're going to have sustainable impact on the opioid epidemic, we need to really focus on the outer edges now. We need to look at prevention and we need to look at recovery. Saturday's Prescription Drug Take Back Day runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And for a full list of Take Back Day locations, you can go to our website, WPRI.com. Reporting in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.